By their words, they will enter into a partnership, a lifelong commitment. In biblical terms, they will be entering into what we call a covenant. It is a covenant with God and each other. Father, you are the creator. You create and by you create by your actions and by your words. And in your image, because of your power and with your blessing, Nate and Katie are creating a union, a family. do whatever we want. Nate, thank you for being my person. Thank you for loving me. I'm so excited to grow together in love and experiences. Mm -hmm. I will love you during the tough times, adventure during the free times, and wander all the time. Mm -hmm. It's through words that we dream and we think together and it's now through words that I get to vow myself to you. I vow my love, commitment, faithfulness, and partnership to you. With God, these words, this writing as my witness that we get to keep, I vow myself and these things and all myself to you. I love you. Together, they become one. And just like an atom cannot be split, and this tree cannot be separated, marriage is an other dimensional oneness with implication in, in our everyday lives. And a oneness like this, a marriage like this, is an instrument of good in this world. It's with the weight of that oneness in mind, with the realization that your words are actually creating something new, even if it's something we can't fully understand, but something that allows us to better serve God and impact the world. Katie, with this ring. I seal my promise. I seal my promise. Nate, with this ring. I seal my promise. I seal my promise. Nate, you may kiss your wife. <laughs>